Is there like a union where somebody goes, hey, let me throw Because like. Yeah, who's choosing? Yeah, because. The Olympic Committee, I guess. Who else has trampolines? That's a great point. Or like who else has all of these things? So you're saying there's there's a lot of privilege involved here. Olympic privilege? Yeah. Dang, dude. That's another way that you're failing. Mm -hmm. What are you about to Oh, I saw this. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna find it again on my for you page. And I <laughs> thought about sending it. This is off topic. We're gonna get back to the Olympics yep. in a second. You know how like uh you know what pretty privilege is? Oh, we have a woman in here. Sure, yeah. We, we do. always talk about things and are like, what we I wish there was a woman in here. Explain pretty privilege to us. Um more attractive people, pretty girls get things that they want um, easier because they're pretty. So like you walk in, you're like, hey, my, um, I got a flat tire. A guy will like pull over to help you. Mm. Totally. Because you're pretty. Yeah. That's in general. You skip the line. You. Okay. Well, we don't all live in Miami. <laughs> <do we? laughs> yeah. What's a skip the line? Bottle service. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like a, a better like pool chair. Yeah. Something. Oh, what? Okay. I'm just saying for normal people. Okay, Kathleen. Yeah. Okay, pretty privilege defined. Good. Okay, so this girl was on TikTok saying she has ugly privilege. Interesting. I'm listening. She says like no That's guys like bother me. That's like, kind of awesome. Ooh. No guys like cat call me. She's like, don't get me wrong. Like my friends think I'm like cute, but like <laughs> I was like, we didn't. She had to sneak that one in. Yeah, no one is arguing. Okay. She's like, I have ugly privilege. Like nobody bothers me like guys don't hound me for my number like no one she's like i'm not worried about being kidnapped <laughs> i was like this is a wild take she's clearly thought about it yeah like that's she's been like no you know what let's find the silver lining here ugly privilege Good for her olympic privilege yeah i'm sure I'm, I'm i'm just gonna say a random country i'm gonna i'm gonna close my eyes and think of a country okay sudan sure they can't compete in these. Yeah, they don't have BMX freestyle training. Thank you. And yeah. that's not in any racial context whatsoever. Let's get let's get an Eastern European white country. You picked a great example because the South Sudan, Sudan? basketball team, yeah. they just oh, right yeah, now yeah, are just... building their first indoor court in the entire they country. They don't have an indoor court. They are they live in the desert. They They're practicing have, they outside. Beat the young now United States. Yep. All right. <laughs> they don't have an indoor court. Yep. So we've talked about this on the on a bunch on the pod before, like uh, wrestling mm -hmm. is fake or NASCAR. Uh, whoever has the most money is going to win. All kind of like Alabama football. You're like, this is real. Mm -hmm. And then like the ref throws the flag. You're like that seems there's other things at play. Mm -hmm. All you want from sport is entertainment. Yeah. And so you're like, well, what what is what is the most sincere, equal playing field level competition of sport? Yep. And you're like the Olympics. Sure. Running. But no, mm -hmm. look at all the, all the resources we have. Cycling, mountain bike. What if you don't live in a country with mountains? Now what? <laughs> Where do you go? Dude? How do we train? We only I, have hills. Let me think of a country without mountains. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Sudan. Sudan. <laughs> they probably, no, they got mountains. Dude, they just got gorillas in them. But no, they don't have gorillas there. Nah, I shouldn't have said that. Nah, I shouldn't have said that. They got lions in the jungles, dude. They don't be riding bikes through there. Yeah. No. Think of, yeah, none of the, you can't. Canoe sprint. What do you wait, do if wait, you're wait, in wait, wait, South wait, wait, wait. Sudan? <laughs> yes. They don't have an indoor. If you, they should like, if the U.S. beat South Sudan in basketball by two, uh -huh. which they did, uh -huh. you got to do some kind of gambling spread. We're like, well, you have to win by 40 to win. It's that point differential. Because of everybody should be like, Oh, I get what you're saying. You're saying like Put you got odds. It's like yeah. Trump and Biden. He's gonna give them ten strokes aside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, in golf. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Hey, you know who's not uh, doing dressage, horse dancing? People who use horses to plow. <laughs> and that's I don't mean anything else by that, but I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. That's, horses are a million dollars. Yeah. Like, and he's got a horse going neat. Neat, neat, neat. You're like, dude, we got crops <laughs> that we need to get in by noon before the rainy season. Can you stop doing TikTok dances with the horse, please? We need we need food. <laughs> we need food. The storm's we coming. Plant these beans before fall, dude. Winter is what coming. Are you doing, dude? Stop. Stop doing brat dances with the <laughs> Yeah, dude, Olympic privilege. Olympic privileges. That's crazy. Dude. Yeah, dude. I know. I never thought about it. 